All right, so first things first, we call this a uh, Hudson Bickler system, uh, cultivator system, because it's not just the cultivator, right? It's got a camera hitch, there's a spot for the camera. The cultivator, which is hyper adjustable, and then finger weeders besides. So there's there's a lot going on uh, with this piece of equipment. Um, so we're gonna spend a little time talking about this one specifically and kind of comparing it to the Einbach. Um, but you know, I don't really have enough time right now, so I'm actually gonna travel back in time to earlier this summer and uh, make a video describing this while I'm kind of using it. How's that sound? Hi. Today we're gonna to talk about um, Einbach, Hudson Bickler, cultivators actually. The, um, from Austria, Germany, whatever, over the big blue pond. Um, anyways, they, uh, they're actually pretty cool cultivators. Uh, I see my trade shows and I think they kind of look like pop cans, but uh, with CFS, we ended up uh, being dealers for both. Uh, now we're currently Hudson Bickler, but um, it's given us an opportunity to try um, each and actually we have both on hand right now. So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of in the shop, a little bit in the field demonstration, but just kind of showing what uh, a lot of the similarities, um, you know, they're both both made in the same area and they're, they're pretty different. Uh, they both do the same thing. Um, a lot of them actually have over, or the two basically have some overlapping, um, they source some parts from the same suppliers, but um, kind of just want to de demystify things. Um, one of the reasons that we really sought after this kind of weed control, I guess, is... Uh, you know, our neighbors are always laughing at us, and I mean, I'm used to it, I'm pretty funny, but I'm not after that kind of laughing, you know? We, we gotta get after the weed control and hopefully quit, um, maybe make a difference, let other people know that we can uh, really get some good weed control solutions. So, um, go through this thing and kind of show the differences, uh, kind of key differences. There's gonna be a lot of subtle differences too. Uh, one of the subtle ones you might notice is um, paint colors. Not really that important. Okay, I'm gonna start with the basic. Um, we have a camera guidance system. Uh, their hitches, although, are very different. Um, Hudson Bickler pretty much sells the XL, um, and it's it's a beast. Uh, the thing weighs like 3,000 pounds but it's capable of working with whatever American equipment you got. I know a lot of guys have 856 cultivators, uh, 16 rows, um, and those are pushing over 10,000 pounds, and it'll push that all day long. Um, and the Einbach, you'd have to kind of go to the biggest series uh, where Hudson Bickler's already made this, their standard series. Uh, here's what it looks like. That there is actually a, uh, that's, that's a culture wheel that rides in the track. Uh, I've, I have moved this to match my 120 inch stance. Uh, boy, it really stops from uh, pulling that tractor around, you know, as the cultivator side shifts. Uh, it's made a pretty big difference. This one tends to move a lot less side to side. Um, I think, but no, it, it seems to move less side to side. Uh, the hitch itself um, is an American category three hitch. Uh, it's actually a quick hitch. You just pull those levers up, you can drop things off. If you have these wheels, which you probably will, uh, if you leave them on, you're going to have to leave your cultivator set a lot higher to drop that off. The Hudson Bickler actually plugs in to, um, the number one, it, both hoses plug into the tractor, uh, which is nice because uh, when you mess around with the case drains, um, we've bought a lot of oil, hydraulic oil, because they'll come unplugged on you at a random time and it's discharging into nowhere. Um, and not returning to the tractor, you lose a lot of oil pretty fast. So um, 
we've actually since on the Einbach changed their roll guard to a double tip system where it dumps it back on the tractor through the um, typical SCV port versus the case drain. Um, and uh, yeah, that comes stock on this. There's uh, there's no pins, there's no balls, there's no extra things needed to hook this hitch up to uh, American equipment. I'll kind of break down the, uh, first I'll break down the options on the finger weeders. They're pretty close to, uh, I mean, Cult, Cult actually owns the finger weeders themselves, but it's basically the attachment to the frame that is uh, kind of unique by each company, I guess. So finger weeders, pretty much the same. Uh, last we ran these overlapped actually in the beans, probably about inch and a half, two inches. And um, I thought it was gonna be too aggressive, but it hasn't really yanked any beans out. So um, kind of the same thing. They have uh, safety pins at the end of each crossbar, safety pins here. So even if these set screws do loosen up, they'll stay on the machine. Um, that's pretty handy. Uh, so here, this basic part here and down are generically the same. Here forward is kind of what changes between the two units. Um, both are spring-loaded. Einbach spring is in the middle, and uh, Hudson Bickler's is way up here. So, um, you know, they, there is movement there. There is down pressure. There's a much bigger spring up there just because there's more leverage than what Einbach has in the middle. Uh, one thing I do kind of like about these, um, yes, you can, you can pin them up by lifting up, putting the pin in, um, or because there is some restriction there, you can just loosen this bolt and slide off the, the finger unit off the end. Uh, iron box, I mean, it looks pretty sleek. Again, the spring is mounted in the middle. Um, but one thing I don't like as much about these is the amount of side wiggle that that gives. One thing both of these cultivators feature is a uh, option to lock an individual rowing unit up. Um, I guess another feature I haven't really talked about and want to elaborate on is section control. Um, so, you know, it can just, on point rows, for instance, it can lift these things up. Uh, we have not demonstrated this. We haven't tried it yet. I think maybe next year or something we'll try on that. Um, but it's about how much time I'm going to spend on that. Um, it's an option that's out there. Don't know much about. Both cultivators feature a crushed uh, steel tube and they provide a kind of unique mounting system unique to America anyway it's one bolt you loosen that you can slide it left and right not too tough Hudson Bickler has a down pressure spring in the middle um, this is for if you want to lock the unit up off the ground as you can see it's down all the way uh, currently right now I have L knives on uh, those are set at about seven or eight inches apart. Beans are a little bigger than that, so uh, we're in the process of changing them right now back to sweeps. Uh, so what we're going to do is basically we're going to take an impact, and this is what I really actually like about Hudson Bickler is all of these shanks, there's five of them here, uh, not including the last one, but the upper four. You take an impact, you buzz these loose and you can pull them out put something back in and it's zipping back tight with an impact um, they have an interesting system this piece right here uh, it the bolt pushes that which keeps tension on on that um, I suppose it's so that it doesn't mar that shaft uh, beyond that I guess I I'm, I'm sure there's a good reason for it I just don't really know Okay, so Einbach is not so adjustable. Uh, Hudson Bickler, you can adjust the four gangs, not the rear. 
basically Einbach is only the front two that you can adjust. And to adjust, you gotta go underneath with a wrench because there is no room for an impact. So each adjustability takes longer and to switch back and forth does. You can individually adjust each shank. You loosen this bolt, so you could just choose the back shank and lift that up. Or just an L knife, loosen that bolt right there and lift up your L knife. Um, or if that's your front shank, you can do the same thing there. Um, it's pretty standard on both cultivators. Uh, have had to use that more than I thought. One thing that about these cultivators that is almost maddening is how adjustable they both are. Um, you can get a little lost in the weeds just spending so much time fine tuning and fine tuning um, for the conditions and conditions can change daily. This year we had our beans like triple in size um, in such of a short time, which is, it's nice having that ability to adapt. Um, you know, on our, our John Deere, you pretty much loosen a bolt and your only adjustment is the sweep in or out, you know, for the most part. Um, but these, we're switching out our L knives now for sweeps. Uh, we can change the depth. Uh, speaking of changing depth, they have a crank handle for uh, changing the depth of the wheel on the... Um, for how deep that gang is running. I'm gonna show you quick what it looks like when the unit is locked up. All right, so. So one of the things I actually can't really demo in this video, um, just simply for the fact is I don't have them on, is the shields, but I, I have them on a pallet here. Pretty simple to take on and off. Same thing, it's an impact. Um, Einbach is a lot of pin adjust. Um, Hasebeckler is pretty much impact, and I'm okay with that because it's pretty easy to pull a trigger and switch directions. Um, but I have not got to use these shields yet, and I won't be able to this year because uh, with shipping and everything, and you know how everything's going for 2021, uh, it just didn't get here in time. But um, both have the uh, kind of slide back shields, I guess, if that's what we're gonna call them. Or they're, they're, they're stationary, I don't know. Not, they're not rolling shields, I don't know what you call these, but um, here you go. So here's the pallet of shields. Uh, basically, this tube here would mount, I'll, see, I'll just try to make it work. Just for you guys, I'll muddle through this and put this in and do all this extra work. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, I appreciate the good manners. So, here, there's a set screw, which you don't have on L knives, right? Um, Want to go down another rabbit hole? Okay, thanks. Yeah, we can do that. Um, so the L knives, we actually bought all the parts, the L knives, the spring, the shafty thing that goes through the cultivator that you tension with the bolt onto the gang. That made sense, right? Um, but we bought all that because when you have L knives, you don't need shields. Um, speaking of L knives, one thing I like about the L knives is that they're staggered. Um, I hope you didn't think this was going to go like in any sort of like order, right? It's just, this is how my brain works all day, every day. So the L knives actually run at a staggered, right? They, I think you can see it. That one's set back. One thing I think is a really big deal is that the leading edge is up high. So let's say you catch a corn root ball. It's going to catch here and just travel underneath rather than plugging. Um... I really didn't have any plugging issues other than some big sticks, uh, which will cause plugging issues in pretty much every cultivator. So, 
no out of the ordinary plugging issues. We'll call it that. And back to the shield. All right, so kind of the same principle on the shield. And you know, it's got some wiggle room there. And uh, we can set the chain or the, the height of the shield. There's a little carabiner right here. And you unhook it, you change the length, and you hook it back up here, and now your shield's here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Or you just loosen a bolt, pop the shield out, and you put them on a pallet. Okay, one more thing we thought actually is that, well, geez, you know, Hudson Bickler and Einbach shovels sure look a lot alike. They're probably compatible, right? Cross compatible? Nope. You want to see them side by side? I can show you. Okay. Boy, they sure look the same, huh? One of the first differences is the attachment method. Um, Einbach uses small bolts. Hudson Bickler has roll pins. Um, to be honest, I thought I wasn't going to like the roll pins, and it turns out it ain't bad. Not bad at all. So, for me, that really is a not a decider. Um, I was able to change out a couple of shovels. Now, the biggest difference here is the color. That one's gold. But, no, actually, the biggest difference is not a whole lot other than their attachment. Which... Hudson Bickler, Einbach. So Hudson Bickler has a closed back. So there's Hudson Bickler again, Einbach. So a lot of not very good footage on that one. Ah, uh, anyways. Thickness, pretty close. Width, Einbach is a little wider. I can show you. So what, half inch on each side? You whizzes, you you math whizzes out there and that are good at interchanging metric and standard can come up with however many millimeters is because apparently everything's in millimeters. So, um, I think they're like a 500 millimeter shovel or something, 480. I don't know. I'll get better at it as I use it more. But it's a little confusing. I'm not going to lie, all the metric stuff at first. All right, and I'll just kind of do a walk now from left to right so you can kind of pick stuff on the cultivator. There's your wing fold for the first little wing. Apologize, the lights are wrong for this time of day, but actually it just is what it is. I had to take back that apology.
Nope, that ain't gonna work. Uh, there we go. How do we turn face track off?